and you know, I mean, I, I'm just this whole conversation brings me back to something that we said at the top of the hour, and that is the, the fact that uh, too often, um, you know, as patients, we tend to label ourselves, and then we actually become the diagnosis. For example, somebody who has fibromyalgia. What does a fibromyalgia patient typically look like? What are they expected to look like? How does their family react to them, and so on and so forth? And you know, there's numerous examples. You could you can make the same example with a number of different things. It's one thing to have the knowledge uh, of the the you know the underlying medical diagnosis, but it's it's another thing entirely to become proactive and then take control of what you can take control of. Absolutely. And the second step in this process would be acceptance. You have to accept what's going on. You can't resist it. The more you resist, the greater the pain and suffering. Accept it. Now once you accept it, your whole thought process starts to change. And you're coming from a different place. It doesn't have nearly the weight on your shoulders that it had. It's no longer controlling you. The tail is no longer wagging the dog. Now you're able to start to analyze and look at this and say, how can I get...